Hi guys, it's Peter here from Peter Model TV. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a review um, of the Hobby King uh, T45 crosswalk. Um, this is mine, I've made one or two little mods to it and I thought I'd share them with you. Um, this model has flown and it flies absolutely beautifully. Um, not particularly quick, but then again if you like scale flying, absolutely bang on. Ok, let's just have a run through what I've done. Um, the only cosmetic thing that I did was I actually painted the two top inlets there um, but that's about as much cosmetic stuff that I actually did to it I mean the model only retailed at about 43 quid that's all I paid for it um, I think it was on a special but that was with the fan and everything else that came with it um, I did upgrade the speed controller though um, because I'm running this on 4-cell and I'd highly recommend a lot of people to do so it makes it a much nicer model to fly um, I actually also went with the, the mod for the rudder but to be honest with you that's up to you, you don't really need to do it um, it flies just as well without um, I put some reinforcing tape on the wings mainly because it's going to be belly landed all the time so therefore um, it's just to save these leading edges on the wings um, because they do take a bit of a bat battering if you, you run a field um, I'll flip it over and show you what I did underneath that's probably the most important bits now most of these models when they come it's actually really quite flimsy here you'll find the wings flex an awful lot and all sorts of things and generally speaking it's quite flimsy um, I didn't like that at all, so uh, what I did was I put two carbon spars the whole length of the wing, um, put them in with epoxy, and I also um, drilled two holes straight through the fuselage so that it actually um, went into um, part of the fuzz here, and I put a little block. Uh, of um, wood there just to hold it in so it makes it a whole lot steadier and this doesn't move in or out now and it's a whole lot steadier model um, I will undo it and just show you now fan everything all where it comes with it it's all in there um, as I said all I did was I drilled and put two tiny pieces of uh, plywood there just to hold these wings in place. I went with um, two servos, one in each um, side of the wing, uh, mainly because um, I did try um, the servo, it just comes with one servo to fit uh, and uh, then it, it, it uses a, uh, a metal rod that fits inside and it, and it um, push and pulls here. But as you can see, I've took that out. Not, I've just cut all this out and put um, servos in the wing. They fit quite nicely, and there's quite a lot of space to do it, so that's fine. The only mod that I did do because of that was I put a little skid either side, just so that when it's landing, um, it doesn't catch the server, or when it doesn't catch it as much as what it did do. Um, this is supposed to be the battery bay holder. I didn't bother with it, it's totally useless. Um, I've left it there just just save uh, covering it up, but hey, what the hell. Um, now, I bungee launched this model. Um, a lot of people don't. A lot of people just throw them and, and they're fine. Um, I, I've gone for bungee launching just because I'm usually uh, launched on my own and I just find it easier. Um, so, the mod I did for that was obviously I made a bungee launcher uh, and just kind of a large Z bend. Uh, on an old push rod uh, and then just embedded it really with some epoxy and um, some glue on some some ply. The other mod I did was because bungees inherently when you put the battery in the bun uh, on the bungee you put the plane on and the first thing you do is you notice it goes bump. <laughs> so I put a little mod on mine just a little tab and I've got a, a little piece of string on my bungee that that just holds there and when I release it it just pulls off straight away and it, it flies absolutely wonderfully. 
Now I'll just take the canopy apart. I mean, mine's probably a little bit over engineered, guys, but this is what I did, so. Um, I made a little bit of a, a mod arrangement so this would fit in nicely. Now, it actually comes like that all cut out, but I think what you're meant to do is glue it in. But to be honest with you, it was all nicely cut out and it just seemed a bit silly to me to have all this nice space and then be trying to work with a, a three inch gap underneath it. So that's why I didn't use that battery bag. So that now becomes my entry to all the electronics. As you can see, um, I've got the receiver in here um, and all the extensions come out. Um, Mine is for four cell. Um, I think it just flies better. I mean, the sound is phenomenal, really, and it's, it's only a five blade fan, um, but it does sound really nice. Um, now, I had to modify the battery bay a little bit, obviously. I, I put my battery slightly more forward than, than what he's recommended, but it's a heavier battery, so you know, I guess I've got to. Um, I just made a little bit of a, a ply stopper there, so the battery going anywhere, and I put some um, Velcro in the bottom so the battery doesn't shift. That piece of polystyrene is, is to just push on top of the battery um, just so it just doesn't go anywhere. Um, now the only other mods that I've done is I did a, a little bit of an epoxy wipe inside here just to toughen this up because you'll find when you get this guys it's really really weak um, and I know from my own experience that a couple of landings it would just break off. Um, so that's what I did, I just got some epoxy and wiped it all the way around there. It doesn't add very much weight, you might think it does, but it really doesn't. And what I found is it's probably the most effective way to toughen that up a little bit. Uh, and now it is really quite tough, you know, so that they'll stand a little bit of, of hassle. Now when you get it guys, when you get yours, you'll notice this cone is absolutely rubbish. They are, I mean, it's made in flight, basically it landed and it's broke apart. So I bought it back home and I thought, well, let's try and reinforce it a bit. So what I did, looks a bit shabby, shabby at the moment, but it's not too bad, is I put some reinforcing tape inside uh, and some glue. And I put some glue on the outside and got it as smooth as I could. And then I resprayed the whole thing and this is actually, it's not brilliant, but it's quite firm now. Um, and it, it's flown since a couple of times and it, and it, it works a treat. I've put some reinforcing tape underneath here just to help things along so that this is not going to fall apart. Um, that's really just to hold the air where the aerials are for the 2.4 receiver. Um, same for this really, it's, it's just a bit of um, protection just on this skid really uh, for when it lands. And as you can see, guys. The fan is in there, it's uh, just a stock uh, five blade fan that comes with it, but it, it, it throws it along quite nicely, it's not ballistic I wouldn't say this model is, I guess you can up it if you want, um, I mean a friend of mine is going to put a 12 blade uh, chanson fan, a friend of mine is going to put a 12 blade chanson blade, uh, fan in it, um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, all I can say is the mods that I've done to this um, seem to work. Um, entirely up to yourself whether you do them or not. Um, but when you get this, you'll find that it's quite a flimsy model, and you think that's why it was only 40 odd quid. <laughs> Having said that, if you put a little bit of time in, I mean, I didn't spend that much time with this to be honest with you, um, it really is worth it. Um, so much so, I'd say that this fly is now absolutely on rails. It's it's absolutely beautiful. The main mod that I did was putting the um, wing spars in, the carbon wing spars, and I tell you what, that they really make a difference. It makes it a lovely model to fly. Some others might tell you different, uh, and whatnot. I can only tell you what what my experience is with this model. I think it, it flies lovely. 
Um, probably one of the better flying models that I've got now, and it's it's by far the cheapest one that I've ever bought. As in, as I said, it cost me forty three pound all in with postage and packing. Ah, uh, no, with postage and packing, I think it was about um, just under fifty pound. So just under fifty pound got me the whole of the model, um, including. Um, Saying that, I added a servo because I put the extra servo on the wing. It comes with a servo in the nose. I took that out um, because I wasn't going to make it a fixed undercarriage. It does come with fixed undercarriage, but I didn't make it that. Um, I just didn't think it looked right. There, there is a mod, and I, I know you can do it, that you can put retracts on this particular model. I didn't decided to do that because I thought it would really weaken the wing um, but I know it is possible to do it but you don't you'd need really small retracts for it whether I'll do that in the future I don't know but um, for now I'm going to leave this as it is because it flies really nicely as I said it's flown a couple of times and it flies well um, center of gravity with this um, you measure the center of gravity from the top of the uh, inlet here. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I think. If I'm right in thinking. Yeah. Centre of gravity is 145 millimetres from the top of this lip. I think it tells you 150 in, in the plan or, or whatever it is. But my set exactly to 145. And as again, I can only speak because I find it flies wonderfully on that. Um, probably got a little bit of scope either way, and, and mine does come out slightly heavier or slightly lighter uh, as regards to CG, depending on what uh, C battery I put in. But generally speaking, I fly this on a 4 cell nanotech. Hobby King Specials, um, and I think I've I've got two sorts of batteries usually using this, and one's 25 to 50 C, and the other's 35 to 70 C. Both both work absolutely fine. Um, as I say, only speakers I find it flies lovely. All right, guys. Well, hope that helps. Any questions? Uh, get back to me. Um, just leave me a message on on the bottom of a um, on the bottom of the video on YouTube and. Uh, any questions and I'll try my best to help you. Alright, thank you.